<laughs> Arvid Lowen. He made it. He did it. And in fact, let, let's have a, a little video of him just arriving into downtown Halifax to finish Here off his 13-day, uh, 6-hour and 13-minute uh, world record. He made it just, you know, within, and we'll get some more detail in a minute as we get him on the phone, but but he, he made it into downtown Halifax, and of course, uh, he'll be greeted there by Charles Mully, who will come come into the picture Look very quickly, run up to him and give him a big oh. hug as he was raising funds uh, for the Mully Children's Thank family. And it's it's a world record trek, 6,040 kilometers across Canada, started in Vancouver on Canada Day, and there he is. He made it, and there's his wife <laughs> giving him a big hug. What a, a grueling uh, effort, but he did it, and he did it out of love and you know he didn't broadcast it this 54 year old grandpa but he has osteoarthritis in his left hip and is scheduled mm. for surgery in September doctor wasn't really too keen on this maximum effort across yeah. the country and I, I had never heard about that until today and he wasn't talking about it but in spite of that, he did it. And in fact, on the phone right now, we have Melissa McEachern, who's been tracking with him uh, this, the, the whole trip and, and keeping touch with him through our MyView site and, uh, and on the road as well. And Arvid, I think, is there with Melissa as well. They're both uh, there on the phone. I think Melissa's there first. Melissa, what was it like to uh, experience that big uh, finish last night? Good morning, yes. Yesterday, as we pulled into Halifax City Hall, we were just excited and um, excited to be witnessing Arvid conquering a world record, but more than that, to have Mr. Mully there. And what this ride really signified was making a difference in those kids' lives. And the thing I respect and I'll take with me the most with Arvid is this determination, his passion to make that known. It's about the kids, Lillian, it's about, and he knows them by name, why he's riding. And so he just uh, really focused in on that. And that even at the end, that's what it was all about. So we're here this morning celebrating with the road crew, having a well-deserved breakfast. And uh, we had a good night's sleep. And uh, I'll give the phone to Arvid. He'll give all of our Huntley Street viewers uh, a hello. And I will say this, yesterday in the highway, as we were coming into Halifax, there were some people at the side of the road taking pictures, and I stopped to talk to them, and there were 100 Huntley Street viewers um, who heard about it. So we just wanted to thank our viewers for uh, following the ride and also for supporting uh, what this ride was about. Um, and so I'll give the phone to Arvid. He'll give you the real raw update. Here's Arvid. Arvid. Congratulations, congratulations, Arvid. What a tremendous uh, effort, and, and it's unbelievable, almost unbelievable what you've done, but you've done it, so now we can believe it. Uh, Arvid, t tell us uh, what it was like for you those, uh, those many, many hours and days on the road. And an event like this is, is full of high and highs and lows, okay? So it's not like I was in an emotionally low moment the whole time. There were some very exciting times as well. And, and that's the beauty of, of, of how we have all been created. Uh, you know, we have the ability to respond to, to different feelings and different things at different times. And, and that, to me, is always what's a highlight of this thing, learning that God has created us so powerful, emotionally and mentally strong, that if we just find a way to, to tap into that resource, amazing things can happen. And so to me, yeah, I had, I had my moments. I had some very exciting times. I also had a very, very difficult, and I won't deny that, my last 40 hours was extremely difficult. Um, there were many, many times within that 40 hours where I just wanted to pack it in and say, I'm done. Arvid, how is your body, specifically that left hip, feeling? You know, I, I don't, well, I do know what happens, but um, I've shared the hip issue uh, a little bit selectively simply because I did not want to develop a crutch that in the event that I couldn't do it, I would say, well, yeah, I'm riding with a hip that needs to be replaced in September. So not too many people actually knew about it, but but uh, people were praying about it. And I did a lot of training, obviously, beforehand. And there wasn't a single training ride where I wouldn't come home with a lot of doubt in my mind saying, this hip's going to give out on me, this hip's going to give out on me. You know, I rode 6,000 kilometers, and I would honestly have to say I don't think that I even had one pain-related issue to the hip at all. Wow. And, wow. And, uh, so, and, and what had happened before is the way the hip was, the way I was behaving to respond to the pain in the hip transferred to my kneecap, and I had extreme pain under my kneecap. Throughout these 6,000 kilometers, I had no knee 
pain and absolutely zero hip pain. I'm walking better today than I have walked in 12 months. And so, you know, I mean, for those of us who are believers, it is very, very obvious why this is happening. And I just want to thank all those people who have continued to pray. It's it's very powerful when you know when you're on the bike, 2 o'clock at night, and you know you have friends, family. You have people all over Canada who actually get up to pray at that time. You have no idea how... Well, I'm, I'm sure some of you do, but you have, it, it's just hugely powerful when you know that an event like this is so embedded in prayer. And uh, we noticed that again, and God has been good. We were successful. Yeah. We did make it to the end. It wasn't about setting a record necessarily, although it did become a little important near the end because I had a friend out of Edmonton text us at 2 o'clock in the morning saying that for every minute I would break the record, he would donate $200,000, $200 to MCF. Capped at thirty thousand dollars, so that my, my even when I'm very mentally tired, my mental math is still pretty good. I actually never found any competition in any of the crew members. Well, Arvid, I don't think we're math. finished yet in terms of financial cheering you mm -hmm. on, celebrating you. Do you have any idea, Arvid, at this point, how much you've raised? Um, well, because I built everything around this project, okay, even beforehand and afterwards and stuff. Uh, right now, I think we're sitting around $350,000. Wow. <laughs> That's fantastic, Arvid. Congratulations once again. We've been praying for you, and now uh, prayers have been answered. And so you get a lot of rest. God bless you. And uh, we'll, we'll be staying in touch with you for sure and, uh, and seeing how you're doing and uh, talk a lot more about the Mully Children's family in days and uh, weeks to come. So God bless you, Arvid.